Teaching your child to love learning, a guide to doing projects at home. Okay. I found this book because, uh, you know, uh, we live in a very materialistic society. Uh, I used to buy a lot of toys to my kid. We have like mountains of toys everywhere. And, and this year, 2019, I've decided to, well, to do something different. Especially for Christmas, uh, I'm trying to, um, you know, to present the idea of not buying plastic to my daughter. That means, well, we can buy stuff, but I mean, Santa Claus can bring stuff, but no plastic, uh, no wood. Okay. Uh, why? Because it's cutting trees and stuff like that. So we don't have to do this kind of stuff. So let, let's find to, uh, you want some makeup, maybe f vegan makeup or, um, you know, we can, I can make like this kind of a wizard kit, you know, with, um, crystals and the magic wand and stuff like that. Okay. So they, they are ways to really, uh, use nature in a sense to, uh, to not have to consume and spend money. And because Christmas is not about consumption, but it became a, a hard, hard course consumption and still all about showing off and what you eat and all this crap and i'm getting tired of this stuff because i spent uh many years trying to please people and never received a gift and or they give uh, me like a, a one dollar gift seriously i i, I you know I, I was buying expensive food and everything and they were just like coming taking advantage and not even being uh uh you know respectful and so yeah so this year i've decided to be a tiny bit cheaper and also to teach some uh, some different values to my to my kid and i found this book teaching your child to love learning you know and it's it's not about okay we sit we have a book and we learn no no it's it's about building different projects so let's see let's take a look getting ready for project work, making your home a place for learning. So there are different projects. Mexican bakery project. So let's see here. So you want to raise your, ch uh, your raise children who love to learn. If you do, we you think you're probably interested in using the project approach maybe as a parent you are concerned that your child isn't interested in school or does it seem to care about learning how to read and write and other academic subjects so if you want your kid to to uh to improve his reading and his uh focus you've got to drop the tablet and the iphone all this stuff you've got to at least uh, maybe maybe an hour max per week seriously and I know for some parents, like, oh my God, no, we use the cell phone and tablet uh, and computer all the time. We have to. It's part of the future. It's like, well, yeah, but your kids may not really learn correctly. There is a, there are a lot of studies on this level showing that the kids are ADD, more and more ADD, uh, unfocused. They are, they have like learning disabilities. It's, it's horrible. And the parents, they allow that. Uh, this is just, this is cruel. Anyway. So, you know, I would say, you know, you can just uh, take a look. I should have had a bigger screen or maybe just uh, zoom out a bit. Let me see here. Maybe not make it work. Presentation, let's say something like that. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna just do that again. It's not gonna work. Anyway, yeah, well, it's not gonna work. I want you to have this uh, side as well. But anyway, uh, so let's see concretely the images and everything. So here we have, uh, they're dressing in uh, pioneer clothes. So in order to understand uh, the way they were living and I don't know. Uh, their interest increased when they learned to read and discovered the Laura Ingalls wilder books, you know. They wanted to see the sight from the books in their summer vacation. So they got, they developed an interest, you know. 
maybe uh, it was a long time ago and it may be a different story for kids nowadays. So yeah, uh, I would say that's fun for some kids. You know, but kids are quickly uh, bored. So you've got to, to find uh, techniques for them to, to stay focused for a long time. That means not sitting, uh, not necessarily sitting. Uh, sports, uh, it's nice, but don't be too serious with sports as well. I see a lot, I've seen a lot of uh, parents going crazy about uh, their kids uh, playing soccer and they're like, uh, they take to, this stuff too seriously. Being responsible, giving some responsibility to the kids is also very important because uh, they feel like they are part of something, they are trusted, uh, and they develop some self-confidence, it's wonderful. Interaction with uh, the animals is, is very nice, okay. Art is always a great way to express their subconscious, in a sense. But let's not be too uh, too paranoid as well, huh, you know. And organizing, they can also clean at home, you know, being responsible. Learning uh, different things about nature, you can go to nature, you see uh, snails, you see birds, you see, you know, uh, different uh, different you know, different animals and teach them about that ah worms then we measured how long they were some were oh okay let's see what it here okay. make them write about it but you know, also cooking is great. My my daughter likes to to stir things, and after she sees the result, and after she's like, okay, so now can I watch some TV or can I that can I play with my toys? So what I do as well is when we go to the supermarket, is we we talk about okay, I have this amount to spend, and uh, okay, so this is uh, ten bucks or two bucks, and ah, we don't have enough money now. So we have to, what can we get rid of, you know? Oh, well, we don't need this stuff, okay? So let's get rid of this stuff and then we can buy potatoes or we can buy cereals or something like that. So you make them understand the value of things. Okay. I would say it's a bit boring, huh? you know? So of course you don't have any uh, color photos and, you know, playing doctor, not in a bad way, but you it's a role play and also they understand how it is or you can make them uh play i don't know a lawyer or a policeman an astronaut something like that okay a bakery that's a professional bakery so they get uh, involved in the process Wow, so they made the whole thing. And so the dad is willing. So the dad is a baker, so he works a lot. And uh, so the, the dad's going to help to cut the serum boxes to make a model of the panaderia for play, for the bakery. So parents are tired, but they are still willing to spend time with their kids to teach them stuff. Many, many parents can just be like, oh, leave me alone, man. I don't have time. Or they get a babysitter. Okay. So this is not new. For people who are not used to this kind of stuff, maybe they can discover stuff. That's great. That's great. And But it's not new. The child de development is very curious. You have to trust your child. You have to let, uh, let him or her touch things, experiment, you know, uh, in order to develop uh, some curiosity and also to, to, to evolve in their curiosity. Okay. Reading is important, not on the tablet, not on the tablet, real books. And I know it's like, oh my God, this is paper and we cut trees. Okay, yeah, yeah, but they have to have the, the experience of touching a, a real book, paper book. Okay. And uh, but no tablet. I'm I'm not a big fan of tablets and cell phones. So uh, now you do whatever you want. Yeah, well you can build a, a bus like that with a box. You know, kids are, are very simple. We 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 tend to be a tiny bit 
stupid when we buy toys. It's like, oh, I want my kid to have the best and this. Oh, I never had that, so I'm gonna buy that. Okay, I understand. But sometimes just a simple box is enough. And I like I like this coaching your child. Yeah, it's it's nice, but not like the mean coach, you know, sport coach. And yeah, experimenting, uh, you know, doing different role play and. Don't be an old retentive, don't be disappointed or arrogant or aggressive if they make mistakes because we, we have a bad relationship with mistakes. It's like failing, being bad. But no, it's a learning process. When they fail, that means they are learning. They are like, okay, well, you know, I made this mistake here. Uh, I'm not going to do it again, okay? It's a learning process. But in our society, we don't understand that. Anyway. So, anyway. Uh, except if you want to become a lawyer, you know, it's bad to make mistakes. But lawyers are weird creatures. They don't think the same. They don't think correctly. Anyway, well, that's just a, a quick, you know, check up on the book to see if it's interesting. I would say it's nice, uh, you know, but for people who don't know this kind of a, a strategy it's it's maybe interesting but i would say it's old it's quite old so nothing new here anyway so that was teaching your child to love learning i'll uh expose another book uh, pretty soon and uh probably i may try something let me see if i have the library here uh you know i have a lot of stuff a lot of stuff and also i have uh, the kindle uh, full of books so anyway, if something you want a review on, let me know. And uh, that that is a old book. The highly effective people, you know how to make friends, la la la. The secret language of your name. Let's check that quickly. It's not part of the the video normally, but I still have like three minutes. It's gonna show up. I know why. Unlock the mysteries of your name and birth date through the science of numerology. Well, that's uh, I think this is the first page here. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I have no idea where I am. Let's see here. So let's see. Uh, ah, yes. Yeah, so it's just uh, you count. The value of uh, each letter in your name and stuff like that. I, I know I'm number one. Not like I'm number one, it's just I have num the number one if you summarize all the the letters in my name, etc. etc. So uh, well, that's something we can do, potentially, if you're interested in numerology. There are some interesting stuff, but people who are interested in numerology tend to be a tiny bit uh, excessive, obsessional, so I don't like that. But anyway, you know, just a tiny dose of it. You guys have a nice day, nice evening, and I'll talk to you soon.